What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights to the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe, y'all. So we got a very interesting day ahead of us right here, y'all. For the first time since May, we seen Bitcoin dip under 60K. Now, I know a lot of y'all are afraid, but I've been talking to some industry leaders, some people that you know are behind the scenes working on some things, and they're telling me this is nothing to fear. They say to continue to look at the bigger picture, see what's being built, see what different things are going through, what financial instruments like the Ethereum ETFs still pushing through. Look at what's taking place, micro strategy, still buying hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of cryptocurrency this is looking exactly like what we've seen play out during the last bitcoin having even if we get consolidation for the next few months giving y'all the opportunity to accumulate more on the dip this is the thing every time prices run up crazy i know a lot of people that have these you know uh hindsight you know 2020 moments where they're like man i wish i would have bought more this is your opportunity the market has been showing us glimpse glimpses of what can take place of what wants what it wants to do all you have to do is be buckled up and be along for the ride remember time in the market beats trying to time the market so it's better off to continue to dollar cost average into your positions now remember this ain't financial advice i can't tell you to buy sell hold dress for trade burn do any of that it's all on you but i can tell you the wise thing to do that experienced investors are buying on the way down accumulating more filling up their positions so that way once things turn around we see even more gains think about it right now we just seen uh sheep down to 1600 points per coin today that was an absolute discount for where we've seen you know over the last month so think about the future understand that this is a short-term correction that we're seeing take place we see a lot of liquidation taking place in the market we just seen like over 150 million dollars get liquidated out of the market also the market is a little fearful on the mount uh gox news of them basically refunding nine billion dollars 9.4 billion dollars worth of cryptocurrency back to former uh users of the platform so if y'all don't know about that story basically mount gox was like this uh trading platform an exchange i guess they did something illegal finessed a lot of customers out of their money but now they're looking to repay a lot of those past investors or you know uh, account holders on their platform and a lot of people are fearful that this 9.4 billion dollars that's going to get refunded is going to be liquidated so that's why we're seeing prices push down a little um, more but understand this the market prices things in and eventually once it's completely priced in we're going to staircase our way back up this is just a discount even if it pulls back further let's take a look at our bitcoin indicators first let's go through the prices so sitting at a 2.25 trillion dollar market cap down 1.65 percent over the last 24 hours take a look at the fear and greed index sitting at a 44 a neutral buying anywhere in this neutral range for me is good because not you know of course you want to look at the bigger picture as well but if you're a long-term investor buying in this neutral range is good because we know once it reaches back into the greed area the price is going to be high when the market is fearful that's when it's time to be buying and when the market is greedy that's when it's time to usually be selling. So when the market is fearful, time to be greedy. When the market is greedy, time to be fearful. Keep that in mind, y'all. Bitcoin, $61,307 right now. We got it down 2.6% on the day and down two, down 6.1% for the week. Y'all, this is nothing. If you're somebody who's panicking right now or feeling an overwhelming amount of emotions because of what the prices are doing, that means you have put too much in. And I got to tell y'all this because I, I try to teach y'all this from the beginning never risk more than you're willing to lose so that way you do not become emotional you should not be feeling bad because there's red in the market the market should not control whether or not you have a good day or a bad day this is just another day in the market the market is going to do this it's going to do all types of things it's going to go low it's going to go high it's going to do that that's just how the market works sometimes if it's too much for you you know take a step back check back in another week two weeks one month and see where things are because sometimes it can consolidate for a while and really you know exhaust some people some people get tired of looking at their portfolios 
and just seeing it down every day. But I want to let y'all know that is a part of the crypto game. Those who are rewarded are the ones who can, you know, stay down for the come up. Those who can hold their positions. Those who continue to dollar cost average. That's the way to win, y'all. So Ethereum, three thousand three hundred seventy-seven dollars down one point four percent for the week. And look at this, y'all. Bitcoin still up forty-five percent for the year. Ethereum still up forty-seven percent for the year. So you know, to those who took some profits, you know, good job for you. You know, those who are still holding, you know, good job for you as well. BNB 576 down 3% for the week. Solana at 134 up 5.6. Solana is absolutely on fire right now, y'all. Also, I need y'all to meet me in the Vegas Inu Token Telegram after this video. I'm going to be posing a question in there and I'm looking for five to 10 individuals to help out with something. So make sure y'all tap in with me. Uh, comment inside of the Telegram here to help and I'll know that you're one of the ones that paid attention to this video and want to help out. So XRP, 47 cents, down 2% over the last week, down 22% for the year. I know a lot of people with XRP are, you know, uh, aren't happy about the, the short-term investors, aren't happy about the price not pushing up. But those who are long-term are just looking at this as an opportunity to accumulate even more while the focus is on other coins. Time coin right now, $7.60. Time coin might be at like $20 before the end of the year, y'all. Do, uh, Doge, we got it at 12 cents right now. Cardano, 38 cents. Tron at 12 cents. Shiba Inu at 4017.49. Let's see how low she went for the day. So she dropped to 16.44. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin right now. Look at some of those indicators that tell us what is likely to happen. So remember, this is not scripted. This is live. You know, uh, it's not financial advice. We're just looking at what the market is and what our indicators on the market are telling us and interpreting it so let's get out our rsi one of the most important indicators that i like using our relative strength index because it lets us know at a glance is the asset that we're looking at oversold or overbought so take a look at this right here looking at our rsi for bitcoin and we are on the day chart you can see Bitcoin is extremely oversold right now. Bitcoin is at a 31 on the RSI. Do you understand what this means? 35 and below means that it's oversold. That means people are panicking. People are not recognizing the value that is there. So the people that are buying in this range, easy W. Now, 70 and above is considered overbought, meaning people are too you know, optimistic about it. People are being greedy. And usually once it's overbought, we start to see sell off. When it's oversold, like we see right now, we start to see prices pick back up. That's all we need for right now. I just wanted to let, let y'all see that. So let's take a look at some of our top stories from Watcher Guru. Shout out to Watcher Guru, keeping us updated with some of the latest news. We got U.S. Congressman says Bitcoin standard inspired bill to end Fed. That would be interesting, man. We are all tired of the Federal Reserve here, man. Also, just then, Tesla shareholders officially approve elon musk's 56 billion dollar pay package and relocation to texas so elon musk will once again be one of the if not the richest person he is one of the richest people right now but he will be probably the richest person again after that move uh let's see just then elon musk says tesla could be worth 30 trillion dollars one day driven by ai and robotics this is crazy think of the vision you know that elon is is putting out there when he says he sees tesla as a 30 trillion dollar company y'all all ran by not saying completely ran by ai and robotics but you know a, a large amount of the business being driven by it that would be absolutely crazy think about it ai robotics don't need to sleep you know easy to program continue to do their job low amount of errors you know uh it's gonna get crazy y'all them call options them, those leaps on tesla hey if you know you know uh, just then, Donald Trump proposes eliminating all income tax and replacing it with tariffs on imports if elected president. So a lot of people are, you know, excited about the potential of Trump being pro crypto and, you know, basically making it easier on the average citizen when it comes to, you know, the the tax side of things like Trump proposed to eliminate taxes on tips so you know, waitresses, waiters out there working that only get tips, you know, they will no longer be tax on those tips if what trump says you know uh if he does what he says if he's elected so that's interesting also spot etf projected to launch by july 2nd so already you see we just got the approval for the etfs for ethereum and already they're expecting them to start rolling out next month so this is going to be 
you know, good for the market because more institutional money will start to purchase, you know, some more of these crypto assets and in turn provide more liquidity to the market and raise the prices. That's how the market prices rise. When more liquidity comes into the market, that's how the prices go up. So just then, Donald Trump says he will end Joe Biden's war on crypto and ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. Now, I'm 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 happy. I'm I'm, you know, excited about whoever's pro crypto and wants crypto to thrive. Now, I did, you know, see some uh prior articles where Trump wasn't as, you know, uh delighted about crypto as he, you know, is now, you know, from his last term where he was saying things like, you know, it's basically pointless, it's uh it's values based on thin air things like that just basically not being optimistic about it not seeing the full potential of it but i hope this stance that he's taking is true and we don't just see this be a campaign promise and you know he happened to get elected and then we don't see him push this hard on crypto so let me know what do y'all think in the comments do you think he's genuine when he says you know he's going to be pushing so hard for crypto so also australia's largest stock exchange asx approves the first spot bitcoin etf let's go so the rest of the world is catching up as well y'all that's what you have to pay attention to don't pay attention to the headlines the news titles or even the price at the moment pay attention to the entire market and what is happening are you know we getting more crypto businesses exchanges you know uh regulation coins liquidity yes we are that means the market is growing as a whole even if on a you know nearsighted it might not appear to be so it might be painful for those who are short term you gotta just recognize what's happening on a bigger scale man so i'm excited for the next you know two three to five years to see where we are to be able to come back to some of these videos and say man i remember talking about you know uh june 24 2024 bitcoin pulling under uh 60k for the first time since may you know in the, in the beginning of the year and looking you know where we might be then and seeing bitcoin at you know 250,000 you know uh half a million dollars who knows so tether launches new synthetic dollar backed by gold called alloy so that's going to be interesting it says the first tether asset you know this is how money in the u.s originally was you know it was backed by gold so when they took it off the gold standard that's when we, we kind of got into this you know cluster that we are you know uh or i'll say that's when it kind of began and now it's interesting to see cryptocurrencies moving back to this gold standard versus you know actual governments so this is you know pretty interesting you can see by the amount of engagement on this post this post almost has a million you know inter uh impressions 10,000 likes, 2,400 retweets, and over 567 comments, y'all. So that's very, very interesting. Also, T-Mobile is talking about mining Bitcoin. So they got plans to do this in the near future. So that's exciting. You know, other companies stepping into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now, think about this. If all the world's top, you know, companies create a crypto division or a branch into crypto think about what that can do for the overall market think about how much liquidity you know what that can do for the market cap it's going to be interesting y'all so just in hash deck files joint spot bitcoin and ethereum etf with the sec bloomberg etf analyst reports so i'm glad to see more people becoming proactive and actually you know filing to get these applications through and take a look at this, y'all. SEC officially closes its investigation into Ethereum. That is very, very big news, y'all. Major news right there. So that means, you know, Ethereum is now, you know, considered, it already has been considered a cryptocurrency, but it's considered safe to deal with at the moment right now with the SEC closing its investigation, basically saying, hey, we don't have anything against, you know, this currency also and think about that that's pro that's a, a pro for the overall market it's bullish because now people that are sitting on the sidelines waiting to see you know what the sec is determining they can now step in some of these companies for instance you know imagine if apple steps in and creates a crypto division you know nvidia you know uh amazon etc and then also we got donald trump says one day he would throw bidenomics and replace it with maganomics if elected president so let's see. Look at this. Michael Saylor's micro strategy holds 226,000 Bitcoin worth $14.7 billion, y'all. Michael Saylor is buying the dip. It says uh, he just bought another $786 million worth. 
he's raising $500 million right now also to be able to buy even more Bitcoin, y'all. So the smart money is buying the dip. Smart money is not looking at this like a bad thing. Also, Winklevoss Twins donated $2 million to the Trump uh, campaign. It was refunded, though, however, because it was over the allowed uh, amount. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm sure they'll get some of those donations back. Uh, also, Michael Dell, 14th richest person in the world and CEO of Dell, post picture of Bitcoin. This is a great account to follow. Me, Cookie Monster. Very entertaining, he says. Take a look. Cookie Monster eating Bitcoin, y'all. So we got, you know, the world's wealthiest people understanding what crypto is and becoming, you know, basically more familiar with it, I'll say. Standard Charter launched to, to launch spot Bitcoin and Ethereum trading desks. Also, $820, $820 billion Standard Charter Bank to establish a spot trading desk for buying and selling Bitcoin and Ethereum. Sheesh. Look at that building, building more highways, more railroads. You think they're building out all these highways and railroads and crypto is just about to evaporate. Y'all, this is the last shakeout. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I believe this is a, a last ditch effort to shake the weak hands loose before we see greatness coming towards the fall y'all the fall is when i think we are going to see everything go crazy i think we see all-time high prices for bitcoin and you know pretty much everything else that's following bitcoin at that time now it might happen in stages you know phases these phase of coins or this stage of coins the next stage the next stage etc but i believe that's what we'll see remember last bitcoin having prices ran up to a uh, all-time high and right before uh, it, you know, or not to all time high, but prices increased and then began to pull back and consolidate after that Bitcoin having before running up and hitting all time highs during the fall. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm excited. Let me know how y'all are feeling during this, uh, you know, this this phase that we're in right now. What are you doing? Are you accumulating? Are you sad? Are you are you, you know, happy? What are what are your emotions? You know, if you have any. What are your plans? Share them with me in the comment section. I will be responding to all the comments for the first, you know, a uh, couple hours. So make sure y'all get that in there ASAP, man. Appreciate everybody for pulling up. Also, a quick note, we will be launching the Vegas Emu token game tomorrow, man. So I'm excited to share that news. We will be doing a separate video after that. But just in case y'all don't catch that video, you heard it here. Appreciate everybody for pulling up. And we are.